let's get cooking. Good morning all, welcome to the vlog. I had a lot of sodium yesterday and I woke up with my face feeling puffy. I'm gonna get a nice cube and we're gonna try and depuff this bitch. And by bitch, I mean me. Oh my God, even better. I found my ice roller in the freezer. This is self care, people. I didn't realize I had put it in there already. Oh my God. If you have not invested in an ice roller already, you are missing out, people. For mornings like this, it is imperative. But if you don't wanna get a roller, you could just use a piece of ice also. Oh my God, it feels so good though. All right, good morning. I'm not sure what the day is going to hold, but wanted to vlog for you guys. I just ended my last vlog and I used a heatless curler to get these curls. I do need to like recurl a few pieces in the front, like up here, but other than that, it looks fantastic. I also need some caffeine, so I'm making myself a matcha latte. I have my big mason jar here. Oh my god, this thing is a godsend. I'll link it down below for you guys. I think it was fairly inexpensive as well. Okay, I'm already feeling better. I'm gonna take some matcha. I got this matcha bar. I'll also link this down below for you guys. This is the matcha bar brand matcha. This is the best matcha that I've ever tried. It's just so, look how green it is. Wow. So the quality is so, so good. I'm gonna put quite a bit in there because I need it today. Matcha in, I usually use like my little wooden whisk, but not today. I have the hot water from a kettle. I'm gonna pour it in, just a little bit, just enough to mix up the matcha. All right, whisk and whisk her up. You guys have seen me do matcha latte so many times. I find that whisking it with this also is great because it gets most of the steam out so it cools it down faster if you're making an iced latte, which is what I want. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do some vanilla bean syrup. Oat milk. Ice water and stir. That is the perfect color matcha latte. Mmm. Sometimes I'll add stevia. Most of the time, no. Wow. All right, I'm gonna ice roll my face and enjoy my latte. Good morning, everyone. Hello, all. We are home. Hi, my little smoosh. My little smoosh. Say hello. Mmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Yes! Cal and I just went to go get bagels at the truck called Yeasty Boys. Come on, come show them a bite. It's a bagel truck that's around on the weekends. This is a plain one. Oh, it's a plain one? Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I got like a jalapeno cheddar one. Is this it? Oh, look at this. Of course, I got my usual a lox bagel. I did light cream cheese. I'm not the biggest cream cheese on a bagel fan. I just like a very light amount. And then I did lox with tomatoes and red onions and I'm so excited. Yum. Mmm, 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 mmm. Shane is on the way over right now. I feel like I always have to say who he is just in case someone's new and doesn't know. Shane, my brother, and his girlfriend, Aubrey, are coming over because they just moved into a new apartment. Can I have a butter knife, babe? They moved into a new apartment and so I'm giving them some furniture. I have that couch that I've loved for so many years that's just in the garage and it could be definitely put to better use at their apartment than in my garage. So they're gonna come grab that. We got them bagels. Cannot wait. I like to eat my bagel like as a half and not as a sandwich. I don't know if that's that's weird. I like an open face bagel. There we go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Bagel happy ends. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I'm gonna enjoy. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Just one of those days when you gotta sit on the floor. Look how freaking cute these dogs are. Just surrounding him. Hello. Also, Shane and Nobbs just picked up the couch. Now, I have a place to put the bikes and I have so much room for activities. Looks great, love to see it. All right, I gotta go to Home Goods because I am finally giving Ollie his birthday gifts. One of them took a very, 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 very long time to come in, but I think he's gonna love it. I am so excited, but I have to get some stuff to wrap it all up and I need to get wrapping paper for Mia's gift because I'm seeing her tomorrow. So, let's go to Home Goods and get some wrapping paper and maybe see what else I have, because you know I love me a home goods. Come on, Dodo. Let's go inside, queen. Ah, uh, mama's home goods. <laughs> oh my God, that was bad. Oh my God, this just got me so excited. It's a little early, but still adorable. All these cute summer napkins. And we're in the gift section. I always go for a bag, honestly. If I don't have to wrap, I would love that. <laughs> 
I love this. Happy birthday. Let's get smashed. That's funny. All right, this one for Ollie. This one for Mia. Sip, sip, hooray. And then for Ollie, I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, okay, wait, this is perfect. This one's good. I have quite a few gifts for Ollie, so I gotta find a few bags. That looks good. I think maybe one more of these, and then I'll have to wrap the big thing, I think, in wrapping paper, and then Mia's is huge, so definitely need wrapping paper for that. I think the donuts are cute. Easy. I'm on the hunt to see if there are any squishmallows here. I don't know if they sell them here. This one looks slightly squishmallowy. It's a knockoff. Very proud of myself. I'm only getting the stuff that I came for. A first at Home Goods for me. All right, goods are required. My little uh, ritual is I'll go to Home Goods and then I'll just walk to the grocery store just because they're next to each other and I need a few things. I actually need some chicken breasts, some avocado, some tomatoes, maybe some ice cream. We will see what the store tells me to buy. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, I'm home. I wanted to do a little haul for you guys, but I have a little anecdote before we start. I was driving home and there were some adorable little kids on the corner by my house selling lemonade and they set up a lemonade stand and lemonade stands back in my day. Oh, Mama Daisy, want to go out. Lemonade stands were my thing back in the day. My brother who's editing this and my parents can attest. I was a little entrepreneur. I was doing bake sales. I would make like, this makes so much sense now. I would stay up all night long making like menu for the bake sale. I'm sure what I was baking was not good, but I would make these like detailed like menus for them. I do bake sales, lemonade stands all the time. I made like no money, <laughs> but sometimes there would be a few adults that would come by and just give me some cash and be like, hey, like we don't want lemonade, but like love what you're doing. Keep it up. Great job. And it meant so much to me. So when I saw those kids, I was like, oh my God, am I now the adult that's going to give these kids money? <laughs> How am I an adult now? So I walked over and gave them some money and I was like, hey guys, like stay cool. It's so hot outside. And they were so sweet. And I can't I can't believe how the tables have turned. Oh my God, I still feel like I'm a kid who's gonna run a lemonade stand outside. Well, that absolutely made my day. Okay, as you saw at Home Goods, we got the little donut wrapping paper. We've got the gift bags. And then we also got some new tissue paper. Can never have too much tissue paper for presents. And then also those little cards. Next up from Gelson's, I got the things that I went for initially. First up, I just got some lemons because I needed more lemons and I'm always drinking or eating lemons of some sort. Also got my tomatoes. I feel like the three staple produce items I always get at the grocery store are lemons, tomatoes, and avocados. As I said, we got avocados. My little trick is to get them in different variations of readiness or ripeness. So for instance, you don't want to get all green rock hard ones because then they're all going to be ripe at the same time. You don't want to get ones that are already mushy because you're not going to be able to eat them in time. So I got a couple that are very, very unripe and still need to ripen up, which I will be able to have like at the end of this week. And then I got two that will be ripe in a couple days or so, which is perfect. I'm not going to be eating at home too much over the next couple days. So that's why I did that. And then of course they have ones that are like ripe day of. So if I was going to eat that today, I would have gotten one of those, but I didn't. Got some cucumbers because I always need cucumbers. My bagel would have been even better with cucumbers this morning. I also saw these plums, which I've never tried before and they're soft which I love a soft plum. This is the, oh shoot, there's not a name on it. It was called like an elephant something plum and I wanna try, so I got two to try out. They're really pretty. They look almost like a tomatillo or something. I got the chicken breasts as I said I would go for. These are the rest of the things that I got that are kind of more fun. I had to restock on chicken broth, so I got this just to have on hand. I picked up a Suja Lemon Love. You guys know I love like a lemon water. This one is water, lemon, stevia, cayenne. Very excited, I love those. I also picked up these, which if you guys I've been watching the vlogs for a long time. You know, I'm a huge, huge, huge Steez fan, especially at the start of my fitness journey. This was my favorite thing ever. I don't know if this is a different line or if they just completely rebranded, but Steez, you killed it. These are so sleek and beautiful. These are the antioxidant brews, so I think maybe this is a different line, but this is the green tea, zero calorie peach mango, and I love anything peach mango as we know. Oh, that sound. I could chug this whole thing in like two seconds. Oh, I was supposed to shake it. Oh well, so good, so satisfying. I also had a craving for yogurt while I was there. So I picked up a couple of these Chobani less sugar Greek yogurts. This is the Clingstone peach and the Monterey strawberry. I love Chobani, I love Greek yogurt, I love pretty much all yogurt. So I wanted to grab those. And then lastly, I just picked up a couple batches or little packs of chocolate chip cookie dough. I love to have cookie dough on hand and also I was just craving a cookie, so had to get those. So I'm gonna put everything away. Oh, let me show you what I got Ollie for his birthday. Okay, this is the cutest part of 
of it. I need to wrap the rest up, but let me show you. So first up, this is my favorite part of the gift that I got him. It's from this adorable small business that I found called the Inevitable Lux Teak. So Ollie is very into spirituality, crystals, angel numbers, things like that. And I've learned so much about it from him. So I thought it'd be really special to get him an angel number necklace. In case you don't know what angel numbers are, it's like when you see a repeating number like 1111 or 111, 222, 333, and each one has a different meaning and it's just really sweet. So I couldn't decide on which one was his favorite number. And I asked him and he couldn't give me a favorite number. I was like, one through nine, favorite number, please. Didn't get an answer, so. I got him one of each. <laughs> they were honestly very well priced and I got him this little necklace storage thing which I've shared on my main channel before in like Amazon favorite videos. It's just like this adorable necklace holder. He also has a lot of necklaces so I thought it'd be great to just give him like a little storage box to hold them. So it looks like this, it's acrylic, it's cute and then it spins around and you can put a bunch of necklaces on there. I already put them all on. There's one through nine except the number six and they're really sweet. They just look like this. They're just a simple little chain and then have the number on it. So here's nine. I I thought the actual like font of the numbers was cool and I could see him wearing it and stacking it with other things. So very excited to give him this. A few other things included, but mostly excited about this. So I'm gonna write up his birthday card, package some things up, put the groceries away, and I'll see you guys when he gets here, which not sure where that is, but I'm chilling today. <laughs> 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 Two weeks too long. Ah, uh, babe, I missed you. You wouldn't believe what I had to do when you were away. <laughs> Hang out with other people? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, oh my battery's gonna die. I tried, Ollie noticed, Cal didn't. Freckles. My new freckles, I used that freck product on my face. Look a little. I love it. Thank well, you so have much. To roast me in that sentence. <laughs> yeah. Fuck him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the freckles, Cal? Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, think he was a fan. <laughs> I like them. They're I cute. I think they're cute. I'm wearing the Kosas, the new lip oil, too. Very nice. Juicy. We're gonna Summary. head out. Summary, we're gonna get some sushi, go to Costco. We're gonna see where the day takes us. We're gonna see where Momo takes us. Truly. Where are you at, girly? She's in there. Look at Dodo. <gasps> Princess, the most beautiful Princess dough. dough. We got our sushi. <gasps> These are the best bites in the entire world. The salmon and the albacore. My mouth is actually watering. A little soy, a little wasabi. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Give us a flavor profile. I need to melt in the moment. <laughs> Buttery, soft, soy. <laughs> After lunch, ice cream. So good. So good. Miss so Remy. Good. Miss Remy. This place is bomb. Gooey butter cake. I usually buy the pints, but I've never Milky been to the chocolate. store to give me just a scoop. Bramble, <laughs> berry crisp. Next stop, we're at Costco. Gotta get a cart. Cart corn. Cart corn. Okay, we're at Costco because we are making something exciting for dinner. Very My mom keeps exciting. telling me to buy a massage chair. We are here to grab the goods. Cal is gonna come meet us and pick it up after and take it home. Cali corn. Cali corn so that we can shop around some more and take our time. We're looking for squishmallows because they usually have squishmallows here. I don't see any yet. Where's the toy set? But ooh, should we get wine drunk tonight? Yes. I think so too. Rose all day. People love this bottle. Bring it some wine. <laughs> Love. These croissants look bomb. Strawberry filled. We've got danishes. I want a nice pastry to have with coffee in the morning. <laughs> Gotta get the cherry tomatoes. I wish you could hear me when the camera's not on. At Costco, I go buck wild. I get excited by everything. What are these muffins? Ooh. Mantecada muffin? I don't know what it is, but it looks delicious and I want to try. I got vanilla chocolate chunk and then the mantecada ones and then Ollie's gonna take some home too. They look amazing. Also, I'm gonna make garlic mash. So you're good. Oh, I don't need like 50 potatoes, do I? <laughs> All right, I got a smaller bag of potatoes, but it still is very large. This is what we're here for. The lobster and the giant crab legs. You pick your crab legs, Chicky. I'll look at these. Fun fact. They've got my favorite tortillas at Costco. Updates, we also got these chicken melt things are freaking fantastic. Breakfast sandwiches, and I'm trying to find the little fruit in the fruit cups. I used to get them as a kid all the time, and they don't sell them at my local Costco. This is a different one than I normally come to. They have the mango alada things that I saw on TikTok. They look bomb. <gasps> I love these so much. Honestly, I might need to get them. Where is the thingy. I don't see them. Ooh, dipped bananas though. That looks good. Oh, I don't see them here. What a sad day. Look at all the baby Yodas. 
Oh my god. Oh, baby. baby Yoda. Baby, baby Yoda. They're so cute. I love it. We have moved on to the mall. We have to get a couple things and the Target is here and I have to get some like toothpaste and essentials. Ollie wants to go to the Sanrio store, as we should. Squishmallow Sanrio. Are there Squishmallows in there? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this Hello Kitty with the cup noodle. I'm buying that for my aunt. Auntie, you're getting that. They have BT21 stuff in here. I have this for Momo. She sleeps on it. I need new hand sanitizer and new soap. I really, 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 really want to get fall candles already, but I'm going to hold myself back until at least September. Ooh, but I really want these wicked. Oh, should I just do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? I really want it. I take it back. Ollie convinced me it's time to get wicked apple. Fall is here, baby. Fall is here. Just let me have this one, guys. I might be missing it, but I can't find leaves anywhere. I just want one leaf. Candle, only one, I promise. And I'll burn through it by tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god, I found her! I found her! I found her! My first sniff of leaves for the season. Oh my god, <laughs> I, almost, here, babe. I almost cried. I see it's here. I see it's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so basic. <laughs> I've been really needing a little salt container to put all my flaky salt. This one from Chip and Joanna looks beautiful. Flaky salt. Gonna get some mouthwash. Check. Shrek swamp water. Shrimp swamp <laughs> water. Oh, here it is. This is my favorite toothpaste ever. I actually like the blue one, but I take this whenever I can too. We have dinner. We got crab legs, garlic butter, homemade mash, lobster steak, no greenery in sight. <laughs> this is dope. This is no boo at home, baby. Ooh la la, that looks so good. These mashed potatoes are so easy. They're like three ingredients and insanely good. I'll post a recipe on Cookie with Remy. I'm salivating, I just drooled. Hi guys, it is the next day, but before we leave, I'm gonna take a little bite of this muffin because it's gonna take a while to get food and I don't wanna be hangry. It looks like a corn muffin, but I don't think it is. I could have easily Googled what this is. All right, muffin here, muffin check. Mmm, just tastes like vanilla butter. It's good, but I would have preferred cornbread. Outfit of the day today, I'm wearing this top from State of Mind, and then this tennis skirt from Airy. Very comfortable, stretchy, muy delicioso. Oh, thank you so much. Cal made me emergency. Ugh, the flavors together do not mix well. Anyways, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Should not hold the knife, bye.